Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing this little guy right here, which is the DJI, let's just swivel that around, the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now, I'm just going to let you know that this is not going to be a review that's going to fill your head with thousands of different details. No, that's not me. In fact, this is going to be a completely unbiased review of this product right here. And I'm, the reason it is going to be unbiased is because I'm not sponsored by DJI or, for that matter, any other company in the market. In fact, I bought this little guy myself with my own money. Now, if there's any questions which are not answered for you in today's video, do not worry because I will be here after the video to answer your queries down below in the comment section. So if you've got something that you want to ask, just get in contact with me right there. So DJI in modern times have been known for producing a fantastic range of drones. In fact, I constantly see these producing some amazing footage in videos on platforms like YouTube which is great. So DJI already have the technology there, but recently they've moved into the world and the market of gimbals and gimbal cameras. Now this has become very popular with your video creator and your vlogger recently, and I use them myself. So I was very interested to find out what this product could actually do. So let's start by talking about the very first feature which really stands out to me. That is the size. I mean, this thing is absolutely tiny just like my hands. That's right, I am more than happy to confess I have tiny childlike fingers. But this thing still fits in my palm comfortably. Now that's really impressive considering what, you know, it features. So, okay, first thing, tick, size great. Now to someone like myself who's been used to lugging around a heavy Canon 80D, which is very good quality by the way, and if you wanna find out more about that, check out the link above my head and that'll tell you all about the Canon 80D. But this camera here is gonna be a breath of really, really light, fresh air because I've been used to carrying the Canon 80D around with me and when you carry that thing around with you all day, it gets really heavy. I mean, I'm thankful for the muscular arm I have, but at the same time, I don't wanna be lugging that thing around with me every day. So when I found out about this product and all the features that it promised, I was really excited about the prospects of what I could do with it. So, okay, it's small, which is great, but let's move on from the size of it. Does it perform? Well, let's first start with the resolution. This thing shoots at 1080p and 4K. So really, it's doing the same as other cameras in the market, around about a similar price, like the GoPro, which is a similar size, even though it doesn't have a gimbal head. Uh, but what really impressed me is that it doesn't just shoot at 1080p and 4K. It actually shoots 1080p at 120 frames per second. That's more than the Canon 80D, which I'm shooting on right now. In fact, it's more by 60 frames per second, which means that this thing, in theory, should offer me some absolutely delightful B-roll footage, which we all like. It also, though, shoots at 4K, 30 frames per second, and 60 frames per second. So if you wanted the extra quality, you could shoot at 4K at 60 frames per second and still get that slow motion that you were looking for. So it's got the resolution I need. I mean, I'm never going to need anything past 4K 60 frames a second and 1080p 120 frames per second. So the resolution's great. But what are the images like? What's the video like on this product? I mean, it's got everything in resolution, but look at the size of the camera on this thing. It's really small. It's, it's quite cute, but it's small. And that means that it's probably not gonna have the quality of some of the bigger cameras and bigger lenses on the market. So I thought it would be really important as a vlogger and video creator to take this thing out and really test it in a real world environment. So I took this little thing out earlier and this is how I got on. Okay, so let's start the camera test, shall we? When you're a vlogger, one of the number one things you're gonna be doing is the walk along talking to camera test, which I'm doing right now. And this is where you talk to your viewers, explain to them why you're walking along talking to the camera like this. So it's strange, isn't it? But this is one of the main parts of vlogging. So at the moment, I've got the settings on 1080p at 30 frames a second. And I've got some awkward conditions because the sun is over my shoulder, it's very bright, and yeah, it's not really the ideal kind of conditions to be recording video in. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the DJI Osmo performs in these conditions. So this is 1080p, 30 frames per second. Okay, so this is now the walking along, talking to the camera test. But instead of being at 1080p, I'm now shooting on 4K at 30 frames per second. 
Okay, so now I'm in sort of low light conditions. The sun is about to go down over there, I'm in some darker woodland, and you're really getting to see how this thing works when you introduce low light into the situation. A lot of these smaller sensors and smaller cameras usually have a very noisy kind of look to the image when you introduce it to lower light. So, you're really getting to see how it performs in this situation. And this is me vlogging in a shop. That's right, I'm in the middle of a shop vlogging. Luckily, there's no customers around at the moment. Next comes the B-roll test. This is one of the popular ways to tell the story of your surroundings, especially used in modern vlogs. So your camera really needs to be able to perform pretty well in this area. So this is something that I recorded a little bit earlier. So check this B-roll out and see what you think. Finally, what is a good vlogging camera without the option of a time lapse? Now, this is something that we use to show the passing of time or as a transition in our vlogs. So, it's very important also that the vlogging camera can perform this task nice and easily. Now, the Osmo Pocket has two options it has the time lapse and it has the motion lapse. And what I did is I had a little test run on both of these options earlier so that you can have a look and see what you think. Okay, so maybe that was a little harsh of me taking this little thing out on probably one of the worst kind of weather conditions to actually get nice footage. But it's really a good example of, you know, proving to you what you think the footage is like in that condition because we don't all get the perfect weather conditions. We are gonna get harsh sunlight and conditions like that when we're vlogging. Let's take a closer look at this anyway. It's a real simple interface here. As you can see, you've just got two buttons on the front. The right one is to turn it on. Nice slick movements, DJI, well done. And then the left hand button, of course, with a red little blob in the middle is to record. So just press that, hold it down, and you'll get a nice little flashing red light, which lets you know that you're recording. Now, of course, there's more to it than this, because why would you pay the money? You've got a nice little touch screen here, which provides you with lots of different options. You can just slide this backwards and forwards, up and down, and then you've got different options like slow motion, you can then move down to time lapse, pano, you've got photo and video mode. You can also take control of the gimbal itself. You've got different modes to control the gimbal movements. There's lots of different options. You can use it with your phone, all you have to do is get the adapter, plug it into the Osmo Pocket, and then just simply connect it to the phone. This is going to bring up the app. And then when the app's loaded, then you can simply control the gimbal via your phone. It's that simple. Okay, so you may have noticed so far that everything has been quite buoyant and positive and good. And you're probably thinking, why wouldn't I buy the DJI Osmo Pocket? Well, that's probably going to be the case, but I think it's only right that I tell you about the few issues that I came across when using it. The first issue, which is probably not an issue with the actual function of it itself, was when I connected it to my phone. Now, connecting it to the phone itself is really easy, but then using it with the phone becomes a, quite a tricky process. It's cumbersome, it's uncomfortable in your hand, and when you're trying to get the most out of the app, which is exceptionally good, by the way, it's just an uncomfortable experience. 
so I was a little bit unhappy about that. But at the same time, I'm not really sure what DJI could have done to make it more comfortable, because, you know, where else were they really going to connect it together? I don't know. The next thing which was an issue for me is that this thing here cost me £329, which I think is pretty good value for money for what it offers, but at the same time, it didn't come with Wi-Fi. I was really quite surprised by that, but then I had to think over it and I thought, well, maybe DJI didn't have enough room to actually stick a Wi-Fi connection in. But surely they would have provided you with a free Wi-Fi connection to add on to it. Not the case. In fact, the Wi-Fi module which goes onto the bottom of this is actually over £50, which I think is really quite steep for something which is actually just expected now from products to have a Wi-Fi connection. Now I will say that I haven't paid for any of the extra add-ons that you can get for this. I've used the DJI Osmo Pocket exactly how it came out the box with the app and the phone. And I don't feel that I've really missed out on anything or that I need anything extra. So maybe you don't need these extras at all. But I suppose your requirements could be different to mine. Finally, and probably most importantly, let's address the elephant in the room. Now, I was really surprised to find out that this DJI Osmo Pocket doesn't come with a mic jack. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't. That means that you're fully reliant if you're using this with just the audio on the actual DJI Osmo itself. Now I can tell you from this review that the audio is average. It's certainly not great and it's not audio which I would in usual instances use outside of the studio or office environment. I'd probably record in the office and I'd probably find that that would be good enough. But actually using this outside, it's not going to be good enough quality. So that means that the next thing for us is to actually use an external mic not with this device itself, but potentially with something like your phone. And that's exactly what I've done in parts of this video. So there is a workaround, obviously not using the audio for the DJI. It just would have been nice to have that extra option. Okay, let's get down to it. What's my opinion on the DJI Osmo Pocket? What do I really think about this product? Well, I'll be honest with you. There are definitely better products out on the market. There are better cameras with uh, better lenses and better quality images and photos. But honestly, I don't think there's anything on the market right now which is going to beat this for value for money. At the end of the day, this is a complete video creating machine. You can do pretty much everything that you need as a video creator and a vlogger. And I am more than happy that I bought this product. Will I be using this going forward? Absolutely. Now, will I still be using other products, other cameras? Maybe, but probably very rarely now. The only thing, like I said, that really stands out as a bit of an issue to me was the fact that the audio on this product probably wasn't that great. Okay, guys, so I wanna thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you've got any questions at all, make sure you leave a comment below, and I'll be more than happy to help after the video answering them queries for you. Whatever you do today, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.